All right, so I'm here uh, with my DJI battery. Actually, uh, bought this guy used from uh, a lady who bought it for her son. Flew it three times and then put it in the closet. Uh, when I bought it, it didn't have a single scratch on it, so um, I was really happy. And when I logged onto it, it only had like about 10 hours worth of flight time on it. So um, I'm pretty happy with the purchase, other than the fact that I believe the uh, the kid didn't know anything, obviously, about uh, lipo batteries and he probably let this thing just fully die out um, She did say that there was a problem charging this battery um, I noticed quite as instantly when you press the button you get no No lights and I know a lot of people um, Have had this issue with these batteries. I know that this thing's not under warranty So I just decided to tear it apart and see if it had I, I know all these batteries what they'll end up having is like a little orange uh, dot on them on the motherboard on the main board right here <clears throat> and uh, a dot usually means it got wet so spent about mm, about an hour and probably the most dangerous uh, positions possible with about five six knives um, basically packed into every edge around the uh, the plate here um, super happy. I actually got it off with just very minimal damage. I do have just one little crack right here um, that I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, there's two cracks right here. It's the only damage though really to this thing. So my plan is to go ahead and, you know, use some actual uh, two-part epoxy and two-part epoxy this thing back to exactly where it was, file it down, just make sure that it's 100% perfect. Um, and then when I go to reassemble it after testing it, make sure that it works like it's supposed to. I'm going to uh, epoxy the thing back together because the last thing I want is a battery to fall out, you know, mid-flight. Um, I was just so sad to know that my my obsidian battery, my black battery, was uh, was damaged and wasn't going to work. So I went out and bought another couple of uh, couple actual DJI batteries. They're really freaking expensive, so that's kind of what tailored me into doing this. Figured, you know what? If I pull it apart and break the cover into pieces, then it doesn't really matter because it's a trash battery. Um, but I was able to get it off, like I said, with just this one little crack right here. And like I said, I will spend quite a bit of time just making sure that that's perfect again. I'm making sure that all of this is just 100% the way it's supposed to be again. So I'll do another video uh, when I go to put it back together to kind of show that. But the um, point of the video is, you know, you've got a dead battery. Don't really know what to do. Um, what I did is I looked up every video. And of course on YouTube, you don't see a single video on any of this. Um, people just say, you know, return it, buy a new one, whatever. Um, I'm just not one of those guys. So I did enough research to find out that I haven't seen anybody really fix these. You see the video, um, there's two videos online right now about fixing these and both of them look like fakes. Um, but, but, and here's the but part. Um, I was able to find that people were, um, recharging Inspire batteries, which is obviously the better one than the, the Phantom 4. But, um, somebody had actually recharged a fan or a, an Inspire battery uh, by pulling their battery apart. And what they did is they unplugged it from back here. They unsoldered these two joints from here. So they got the motherboard basically away from the battery for a second. And then using the leads, what they did is they connected a, uh, a battery charger and a voltmeter to it. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go looking online to see if I could find those and see can't imagine I'll have to do a lot of math in order to figure out what the differences between the uh, the other battery and this battery are as far as voltage and wattage but it basically uh, you just slow charge the thing completely disconnected from the board here so I slow charge it on the two main terminals right here uh, when the board's disconnected if you slow charge it up to 20 volts at least from the video I watched uh, slow charge it up to 20 volts at five uh, minute intervals uh, once you get it back up to 20 volts, you should be able to plug this guy back in and it light up. So again, like I said, the only reason this works is because I don't have that stupid little orange dot on mine saying that it got wet. Uh, my battery's not swollen at all, um, which was the first sign that this was a possibility for me. Um, and then finally, when I was able to get the cover off without completely destroying it into pieces, um, that was the last uh, final reason that I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and pursue this. Uh, so um, I'll be back in a second. I'm going to go ahead and cut the clip now. I've got some other stuff i got to do, but I'm going to cut the clip, uh, get some uh, get some more tools, get the voltmeter over here, uh, get a, uh, 
a lithium, regular lithium battery charger out and see if I can uh, give this guy a charge. So give me a second, I will be back uh, when that's all set up. Okay, so we did that for about four or five charges and still had nothing. Um, new update. So I went out and found my multimeter finally. Uh, just, just working with these batteries makes me super nervous. And so I decided to go ahead and grab it so I could actually see what I was doing. And sure enough, I wasn't getting any charge. I was stuck at, I believe, less than half a volt. Um, uh, when I was just connecting across these pins, I still have this guy disconnected back here. Um, so that wasn't working at all. Plugging it in, not gonna work for shit. Um, but, but we're gonna do something even more scarier than the knives earlier, and that's this. Um, yeah, it's, it's a little sketchy right now, but it works. So I'm using the, con charger, the controller's charger since I don't feel like messing with 30,000 little mini pins all connected together. I figured one big pin, one little pin on the inside. Um, this is just as sketchy as it looks. Uh, I don't recommend anyone ever do this, but it works. Uh, all I did was basically cut the end of these uh, little alligator clips with the little rings on it, cut one end completely smooth, and then shoved it over the over the center pin that charges the uh, controller. I have two charges, by the way, so I don't really care about if I end up screwing this up or burning something up, it's whatever. Like I said, in the end, this is still just a garbage battery that we're trying to do something. But we have had success. Um, so it says I got the voltmeter on there and I connected it this way, it sparks, is by the way. When you connect this scary rig to this little scary rig right here, it does spark. Um, I'm not gonna attempt to do all of this while holding a phone. Maybe I can, maybe I can, hold on. Hold on, we'll do it for the snap. Yeah, I'm that old. All right. So, scary little test trick here. Make sure that our negative goes on our negative and our positive goes on our part. Wait, actually, hold on. Before we even do this, before we even do this, let's put the scary rig down for a second and let's just see where we're at as far as uh, volts go. So I stuck it on there a moment ago. We're up to two volts by doing it this way. And I have no idea how long you're supposed to hold it on there. The other guy says to do it for uh, five minute intervals. I'm kind of scared to do anything right now. But as you can see, we went from half a volt up to one point, about 1.6, 1.8 right now. Um, so now once we connect the scary rig, go back to the scariness that's going on over here, just in case anybody doesn't believe that I'm doing this right now. Uh, we'll go back to the scary rig, we put our negative down here and I'm just touching this because like I said, this is a very sketchy setup. So I'm just gonna touch it and watch. And we're gonna zap. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hold this here for a moment. Like I said, I don't, I don't feel like doing 30 seconds because I feel like that's just, it's not safe. What I'm doing right now is not safe, but I'm experimenting because it's a junk battery and I feel like I don't have anything else to do uh, on a Monday night <laughs> other than this. So we're gonna hold it there. It will. Uh, solder itself a little bit to the to this guy when we do this because of the sparky snark uh, we're gonna pull it off now like i said it does stick uh, when you do that because it is spark and electricity melting all right so we'll go back up to our little voltmeter here real quick connect it and so you guys can see that i'm connecting it together not like i said this is kind of scary for me so i apologize i'm going to connect it right now Trying to push the battery back just so you guys can see everything. So just negative on negative. Whoop, next set up. Negative on negative. Positive on positive. Boom, 2.6. That's an improvement. So it is going up. Uh, that's the that's a positive takeaway from this is that the battery is going up. So the guy who talks about doing it for the um, for the Inspire, talks about having to get it up to 20 volts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to connect it and count to 10 Mississippi and disconnect it, count to like four Mississippi and then reconnect it. And I'm gonna do this over and over again, just kind of 
winging it here uh, slowly. Like I said, the idea is that you do this slow, but enough to keep the charge going up to 20 volts. Once we have 20 volts in there, I'm quickly going to reconnect the uh, cord back in here and we'll see what happens. So very excited. Also very scared. Wish me luck. All right. So quick update. Um, been doing the 10 Mississippi thing for a minute. Got it up to three volts, but we're going like at a super slow pace. I'm, I'm getting kind of tired of sitting here with this desk trap sitting in my lap. So we just tried sitting it on there for two minutes. We'll see where it's at. I, I'm scared, but whatever. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, look at that. Tell me we're over five volts, over five volts. Oh, it's still climbing. We're up to six. Still climbing. So this is why I only did it for two minutes. It's because I was kind of scared that it would climb quite a bit. Um, that and I don't know if the controller is, and this battery are technically the same. We're supposed to be charged at the same voltage or wattage. I don't know any of that. I'm not that smart, but I am a little tech savvy. So as far as uh, how safe this is or how confident I am, um, I wasn't very confident when I started this project. I was just very, very unconfident, believe it or not. Would you believe it or not? We're over 10 volts so far, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Looks like we're still climbing. It's a lot slower now, but we're still climbing. We're, we're almost up to 11 volts so far. Oops, sorry, my voltmeter popped off for a second. Oh. So, anyways, we're gonna keep doing this uh, two minute intervals until uh, this is done. Thanks. Okay. It's pretty late, really, really late, but I'm not gonna go to bed until this is done. And I'm not gonna leave it. My phone died, so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just do this on uh, my iPad. But anyways, um, if you can look, good news. We're up to 11 volts. So at this point, I'm just kind of leaving this scary rig attached. And uh, my voltmeter has been basically telling me when to come back and check it. Because when my voltmeter turns off in like 5 to 10 minutes, whenever it does, it beeps at me. And I just go over and turn it back on, check the status on it. Thought we were at 10 volts uh, way earlier, and we were actually only at 5 volts. But it's still progress, as you can see. So we're just going to keep going until this is done. Alright, so came over here. I just left this thing on here. I mean, it was taking so long, I'm not gonna lie. I was just kind of tired of the, the whole process. But I came over here and this thing was hot as shit, so I disconnected it real quick. Um, things started beeping and, and went down. So currently, we are at, let me turn this guy on real quick. There we go. Let's get our positive and our negative going real quick. So negative and positive. Boom, come on. Just gotta get you to hold still for a second. I'm so tired, it's 3 a.m. in the morning, so I'm super fucking tired. All right, so we're at 15.77 volts. This picture quality is horrible. Hold on, let me clean my phone. Uh. All right, picture quality is horrible. Sorry about that. Anyways, we're at 15.7 volts. We're gonna plug it in at this point and, and we're gonna see what happens. Remember, this is just the scariest fucking, scariest thing I've ever done. We're gonna plug this thing back in. Hold on. Hold on, I'm gonna stick my phone up there. Back up here, that's why I use to use on my phone. It's because of that reason. Super tired again. So we're gonna plug this thing in again. 
plug this guy in and see what happens. Let's see if we can bring this battery back to life. Holy. There you go. There you go. You want to know if you can, uh, if you can recharge a battery that's dead. Not, not wet. See my white dot? You can't do it if it's wet. From what I've seen, at least. I don't know. Maybe somebody else can try a wet one. But I'm trying one that was just dead. There you go. There you go. Now let's plug it in. Same charger, by the way. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the scariness before I try plugging in the battery. Hold on. Let me unplug this scary little setup I got going on over here. I'm done with you. And then do the same thing with this positive. So this is what I did, by the way, real quick. Is I just cut the wire and shoved it into that pin. I don't know if this pin's bent or not. At this point, I don't really care. It doesn't look like it is, though. Looks like it's still pretty straight. All right, back to the battery. Plug it in. Da 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 da. Let's see what happens. Huh? Huh? Boom. Oh my god. I can't believe it. Anyway, so there you go. That's the answer. You can you can rebuild these batteries or if you can uh, recharge them if they're dead. Alright, so it's the next morning. My battery right here. This is where I'm going to be stuck at. So, anybody has any information on this, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, since I can get the battery to plug in and it will charge, give it a second, it'll start charging. But then it does this. So, give it a second. So, um, I call this a success as far as unbricking. I call this an unsuccessful um, fix for the battery. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. It makes no sense to me. Um, so if anybody else knows, let me know in the comments. I would really love to finally use this battery.